about One Piece, I feel like people hold it close to their heart simply because of how long it's been. No, 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 no. I, I strongly disagree, bro. Because I could, I could literally play one arc of One Piece. No, you, honestly, you just have to look at One Piece, bro. You can, you can play a random arc in front of somebody and they'll fall in love with One Piece. I swear to God. Like, mo I, I hate to say it, if you don't like One Piece, it's probably because you didn't actually like watch One Piece. And you know that might sound like egotistical or blah 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 or whatever this or that but it's like that's just the truth bro like and you know it's hard to believe until you actually do put the time in and watch it like naruto fans hate on one piece because they just haven't seen one piece i've seen so many naruto fans get into one piece these past few years because of covid and shit like that complete switch up not like they don't even talk about naruto anymore all they talk about is one piece because one piece is just it's just better bro like it's the number one manga for a reason. It's just it's just true. Like you could like generations jump into One Piece at any fucking point and it doesn't fucking matter. Like you know, there are plenty of old people that have been following it since the beginning, but there's plenty of new fans that, you know, go against the nostalgia argument or things of that nature. He said, was a fight, was a fire fight one of the best? Do you think Naruto had also... Yeah, I do feel like Naruto had an impact. I still talk about Naruto. Naruto was my, my... That was my favorite anime at a point in time. I just grew out of it. Because, like, you know, I read better series. I was put on last year, and I can assure you, it is so much more. It is, bro. And Kim, she was, like, she only... She was exclusively a Shaman King fan. Did not think she liked One Piece. Dude, I have a... My dad, right... He's a gang member. He's a he's a crip. He said, "Why the fuck would I want to read a show with a rubber, with a rubber pirate? That shit sounds stupid." He has his dead homie's tattoo named on his back. This is some real shit. One piece is like that shit's stupid. Rubber pirate, that shit sounds stupid. He watched One Piece. He cried at Marine Ford. I ain't never seen that man cry before in my life. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. M M Marine Ford got him, bro. And you know why it got him. You know what happens in Marine Ford. Ever since then, loved One Piece, never shit talk it again. And he went up to me, I was wrong about One Piece. I was like, yeah! But my friend says she doesn't like One Piece because how Oda draws women. It's not even like that. It didn't say it's not good. It's just how long it's been running because it has a childhood factor. Like, I grew up on... Dude, I grew up on One Piece. That was my least favorite. I like Bleach and Naruto way more than One Piece. I watched it on four kids. I watched plenty of shows on four kids and shit that I don't like now. Like, there are plenty of childhood shows that I went back to. I used to like this show called Super... Super Hyper Monkey Team. Wait, no. Super Robot Monkey Team Hyper Force Go. Rewatched that shit when, when, I, when I was older. I was like, why was I watching this dog shit? I rewatched shows like Avatar and Ben 10. They just don't hit as hard. But then there are other shows that I go back and watch it when I was a kid. And it's still good. Like, you know, Avatar is still good. Because, you know, Avatar is just like a solid good show but you know i love i got hella love for ben 10 i'm not gonna sit here and actually go out and watch ben 10 though like i'd never do that oh yeah guys like the stream he said do you think we'll ever get another long-running series i don't even know to be honest dash plays lords totally not arc switch up four years now yeah like look yeah like bro he was exclusively dragon ball look at him bro like, that's a prime factor he has no childhood ties to that shit he has nothing. Like, nigga, I grew up on Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Beyblade. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about any of those series now. He said, dub, dad. I don't like the art style. Look, the show is so good, by the time you actually watch it and get invested, you're going to forget about the art style. 
I'll, I'll, the most, I, the best thing I could say is just give it a try, because it might change your life. Like genuinely read the manga, give it a try. It might change your life. It's imagination fruit, bro. I cried like a bitch when Marine Ford happened. I told Jake, Jacob I had to take a break. I couldn't watch anymore. That's what I'm saying. I can't wait till I'm 70 and finally. Like I mean, it took me like two years to get caught up in One Piece, and that's because I was doing other shit. Like I'm like. I'm like 40 chapters behind and that's because you know I got I got burnt out you know reading like looking at the same manga for so long it's draining not gonna lie and you know I was kind of re-look I was rereading shit that I've already seen since I was a kid so you know it did kind of fuck up the enjoyment factor for me but you know if you're completely blind on one piece fresh no spoilers nigga get that shit while you can bro because like all I gotta say is, when that shit ends, and that's getting spoiled. Like, you're never gonna be able to experience One Piece. Because when that shit does end, nigga, everyone's gonna know what the One Piece is. And that is facts. You would be lucky to go around in life and not know what the One Piece is. So you better read it while you can. It's in the last arc too. Now is the time. Now is the time to do it. You will not fucking regret it. I promise you. There's so many impactful, amazing characters, backstories. Like, bro, the world, like the creativity, bro. Like, you're, you're, I, 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 I'm just going to say it. You're missing out. And I just can't imagine, like, everybody spoils Dragon Ball. Krillin dies. Yamcha dies. Even though, granted, they do get brought up with the brought back to life with the dragon balls i can't imagine a blind read through seeing krillin get bopped people get that stolen from them and now i can't imagine what it's going to be like with one piece because the whole entire time we're watching the series we don't know what the one piece is when that shit ends <coughs> nigga you're you you would be lucky lucky to dodge that Read that motherfucker right now. I promise you. I fucking promise you. I personally love the art style of Oda. Like, man, I hated the art style for One Piece when I was a kid. I was like, why isn't One Piece as cool as Bleach or Naruto? Now that I'm older, I'm singing a different fucking tune. Definitely singing a fucking different tune. If you actually read the manga, despite the art style, it, that nigga Oda's a better artist than both Kishimoto and Kubo any day of the fucking week. I promise you that. And take that from somebody who's looked at both i have no reason to be biased because i was i'm a, i was a fan of both i have absolutely no reason to lie or be biased or push some one piece agenda it's not my favorite fucking series do i love it to death yeah it's not my favorite series though there are parts of one piece i don't like i don't like wano i fucking hate skypea i can go all fucking day bro have no reason to cap. One Piece will be a magic ship. Like, One Piece ending gonna be spoiled, like Game of Thrones Season 8, but even more. Like, nigga, you're gonna be scrolling through tw Twitter randomly, and it's gonna be like, the one, the leaks! You're not even gonna get to read the chapter. Now, if there, if there's the, like, 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 look at these Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers. Comment sections, fucking barrage, fucking, Nobora alive! Blah, 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 blah. Like, nigga, I, I had a comment on a fucking video not even related to, to fucking Jujutsu Kaisen, they spoiled something as stupid as Nobara being alive. If you don't think one... like You'd be surprised how many niggas would pull up randomly in a stream and just be like, oh, this character in My Hero died. Or da-da-da-da. And I'm just like, damn, nigga. Like, like, damn. Now, if you think for a second One Piece isn't going to be everywhere, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you one thing that's definitely cap. The world building for One Piece is not all that. That's something that's definitely stuck to shit. The best thing about One Piece are the backstories and the characters. The backstories, the characters, and the writing. Like, I, I can't tell you what about the world building is why people just say that. I feel like people that just say the world building is the best part, I feel like they don't actually look at the series. Because when I think of One Piece's best moments, it's all backstories, it's all character moments, all character driven, you know, how does Luffy cope with M Marine Ford, how does... You know, like, like all these moments are all character-driven moments. Like, you know, Law's backstory. Don Flamingo's backstory. Like, 
All the best moments in One Piece are all character, like, it's not world building. Never have I ever sat there and One Piece was like, man, it sure was cool how they were talking about Big Mom's island, Whole Cake Island, is made out of fucking candy. Who the fuck says that? Like, all these people that talk about One Piece having the best world building, they say that, but they never tell you what makes the world building good. What is it, the warlords? Is it the new world and the old world? That, that's not even that interesting, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, they use bubbles at Sabaody. They use this same bubble technology at fucking Fishman Island. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. It'll never be the same when One Piece ends. One Piece is 20, 21st longest manga and 16th longest anime. One Piece will be magic shit. I do need to get caught up. You have to, bro. I still want to know what Pluton is. I heard... Okay, I read that. Um... You said you want to read other stuff. One Piece reveals might be on the same level as No Luke. Uh, no, they definitely are. Everybody just knows that without even seeing Star Wars. I'm going to be real with you. I tried to watch One Piece and I got to Water 7. I just couldn't get into it. I stopped right there. Well, if you're not sold by Arlong, maybe One Piece isn't for you, bro. That's all I got. Get to Arlong. If you don't like Arlong, I don't know what to say. I'm glad I saw Dragon Ball 4. Social media was a thing. The climax of those. Ar That's all I'm saying, bro. That's the main reason why I read One Piece because I don't like. I don't want the end to get spoiled. How the fuck you don't like Wano? I just don't like Wano. All I know about One Piece is that it is a phenomenal. No, 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 no. And it's about pirates and that Zoro hunts. Nah, that, that Zoro shit's just a meme. I know it's a. Yeah, okay. He said, oh, yeah, I remember years ago, Rash, some dude spoiled Yuta. Yeah, well, like, yeah, it was fucking retarded. Wano didn't do Zoro backstory justice. Yeah, I know. Wano, like, Wano's just not good. Also, apparently, a number of characters is huge and somehow they all have depth. Uh, not all of them. I won't say all of them. Like, there's some characters lacking. Like, Eustace is lacking. Um, Kaido is definitely lacking. That's one of the reasons why I didn't like Wano. Because th that's, that, like, that, that's what makes it bad sometimes. Because it's like, they'll have such an interesting character, and he won't do anything with it. Oh, oh, Kaido is false joy boy. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. Like, my, I, I stand on Big Mom being a much, more, much better villain than Kaido. I stand on that. I will, I will stand on that. And Wano could have been a lot more interesting if they didn't force fucking Odin and Gold Roger shit down my fucking throat. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about Odin. Give me fucking Luffy, the main character. Like, I want more Luffy. I don't give a fuck about these other niggas, bro. Like, build on Luffy. Build on Zoro. Why are you building on a character that's only going to show up for this arc? I don't care about Odin. He's not like, oh, he's a swordsman of Gold Roger and of Whitebeard. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about this nigga, bro. He's gonna be an afterthought right after this fucking arc. I don't care about no fucking Kozuki clan. Get this fucking dumbass shit out of my fucking face. Use is a fraud. That's all you need to know. Kaido was a lot. Yeah, Kaido was lackluster. Nigga got drunk and got folded by overpowered Luffy. Ass. That's why I don't like that arc. You wanna know why? It didn't do what One Piece does well. And that's character. That's backstory. Like, what was so good about Odin's backstory? Odin's backstory ain't no fucking, it ain't no Brooke backstory, it ain't no fucking Law backstory, I don't like, get that fucking bullshit out my fucking face, bro. Like, when I read One Piece, I expect better, like, Kuma backstory, like, bro, like, that's what, look, everybody in chat that actually reads One Piece, when did I say anything cool about the world building? Oh, they have sea monsters, nigga, I don't give a fuck if these niggas got sea monsters, they have sea kings. They use compasses to travel. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. We talking about heat. We talking about actual good shit. Kuma backstory. We talking about drama, nigga. That's what the fuck we're talking about. The best parts about One Piece. Not this fraudulent ass world building fucking claims. Who the Like, who reads One Piece for world building? Who? Who? You don't do that. Niggas who say that are frauds that don't look at the series. They got Candy Island from Flapjack. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about Candy Island from Flapjack. My point exactly. Oh, we make we make roofs out of chocolate. Nigga, what? They make bubbles in Saba Odi. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Oh, this, this island runs on water. That's why it's called Water 7. We said where we make boats. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Oh, we're, we're, we're on Ghost Island. We're, this island's actually a giant ship slash haunted house. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, if the world building was so good, where was it in the first half of One Piece? Where was that, where was that world building at at, island, at Arlong Park? Where was that world building at 
at the beginning of the series. Yeah, you've been talking about the actual characters. Because, like, like, who? Who gasses world building in One Piece? What is there to gas? These niggas use compasses? What is there to gas? They go to different islands themed off of holidays. We got Halloween Island. We got Candy Island. We got Mexico Island with Dress Rosa. We got Jack and the Beanstalk Island. We got Christmas Island with Drum Island where people are doctors. We got Desert Island. Nigga, does this sound, does this world building sound heat to you? Let's go to Desert Island. Let's go to Snow Island. <laughs> Bro, gassing the world building in One Piece is like Oh my god, you know what it is, Chris is. Reindeer. That's Holy what shit, I'm saying, nigga. bro. I didn't even know that. That's what, like, like, nigga, get the fuck out. They got sea trains, nigga. I don't give a fuck. He said I didn't. I did not think my comment would start a whole rant. Still, no, it's not a rant. I'm just saying, like, these people don't know it. They they don't. They just say that because they don't read the series. The best parts about One Piece are the characters and what they go through. That's literally the main selling point for One Piece. Frankie backstory. Gutty flop, nigga. That shit hit. But that's just an island that's never been seen in a single night. Like, man, get out of here. He said. He said we have holiday islands, RL2, Christmas island. That's what I'm saying. He said, sound like child world building Mexico island with dress rosa, not average fraudulent American, not knowing the difference between Mexico and Spain. You're a bastard. Whatever. You you get the point. You get the point. You get the point. But what I'm saying is, all these guys that say that they're frauds, bro. I would not lie to you. Space Island. Like, bro, like, that's not, like, does this sound like fire world building? Do you like the world of Bleach? Bleach is very stylistic. I mean, outside of Waco, Mundo, Soul Society, and Earth. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's just Buddhism stuff. I think it's fire that it's subtle, it's subtle, uh, Buddhism stuff. I will say the world building's good. But, like, my thing is, One Piece has good world building. It's just that that's definitely not why you pick up the series. It's like, what's a series that most of y'all, like, I'm, I'm ass. How could this work? Like, it's kind of like Star Wars. The world building is just there. Star Wars has amazing world building, right? Who gasses Star Wars for the world building in the movies? You know what you gas Star Wars for? Luke. I am your father. No! You went for, you what you gas Star Wars for? Mace Window fucking Mace Windu shocking the fuck out of Palpatine and Anakin turning into an evil motherfucker. You know what you gas Star Wars for? Fucking uh fucking uh goddamn uh damn where are some more moments? Some more fucking moments. Like like you just look at the scenes in Star Wars people talk about. We talk about how annoying Jar Jar is. We talk about how cold Darth Vader is. Like, who's sitting here talking about, like, Universe Sector B-32 and their fucking uh, alien race that does this? Like, like I mean, yeah, maybe for, like, and yeah, Anakin killing those kids. It's the same with One Piece. The world building is there, but for the most part, it's not about what, what, it's not about the world. It's what about, what exists in the world and how these characters interact with the world, you know? And see, that's exactly what One Piece is like. And One Piece has plenty of moments that I can compare to Star Wars tier. Anakin killing kids. Fucking, you know, Darth Vader, I'm your father reveal. Fucking, like, goddamn Mace Windu, Windu cutting off cut, fucking Jango up. And Boba takes his dad's fucking skull, his fucking dad's helmet, and puts it in his head. And he's like, nigga, I'm about to kill this motherfucker Windu. I have the high ground. Yes, there are plenty of moments in One Piece that are like that, bro, and that, that's why, like, like, I don't know why people say crazy shit, like, world building, like, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, who the fuck gives a damn about pod racing on Tatooine, genuinely, who sat here and said, I love the world building in Star Wars, because I think the pod racing really built onto the world of Star Wars, Luke and Leia being related, Han Solo's whole character, that's what I'm saying, bro, yes, 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 and see, take it from me, bro. I have no reason to cap. I love entertainment to death. You know, I want to be a writer. I want to do all this other shit. I, I, I just try to be as unbiased as possible. Unbiased as possible. Because 
There's no point in being biased. That doesn't make the industry better. If I sat here and I just dick sucked what I fucking liked, how are people going to write better things? If I sat here and I didn't talk about the flaws of Jujutsu Kaisen, when are we going to get something better than Jujutsu Kaisen? If I sat here and dick sucked Naruto, when are we going to get something better than Naruto? We don't. It's like these Star Wars fans that still cling on to Star Wars with episodes 7, 8, and 9. You, you, that's actual dick sucking out of nostalgia. And look at the series now because nobody wants to put their foot down. Disney milks it and fucks it over. Al Star Wars Alkalite got canceled because the fans put their foot down. We should have put our foots down at episode 7, 8, and 9. And we should have got George Lucas's script on those damn movies. But now we got fucking these three dog shit movies tarnishing uh, like Star Wars' good name. Who loves the Harry Potter world? But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. My point exactly. People who say that, they do not read One Piece. I promise you. I fucking promise you. Because when, when, when I read One Piece, nigga, the last thing on my mind is fucking world building. You know what's on my mind? Damn. Oh my fucking God. This nigga Zoro got cooked by Mihawk. Oh my God. This nigga. Oh my God. You know what I'm you thinking about? Oh my god, this nigga Sanji starved to death! What is my- Oh my god, this nigga stuck on an island starving to death! Oh my god, his master didn't eat any of the fucking food! He cut off his leg! Huh? Chef Zef cut his leg off! You think I was thinking- You think I was sitting there thinking about- Oh, these niggas are on a fucking restaurant ship. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck- was like we, this nigga was eating his leg. We, the world building Baratier's a restaurant that goes around the Grand Line that goes around the East Blue and feeds people. <laughs> nigga, I was not worried about that whatso fucking ever. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Most most time niggas say got best world building got links to musty theories. The world building basically compliments the characters. I love when people get passionate about something like this. Yes, bro. That's what it's all about. Because I'm a real fan, bro. I know what I'm... Bro. Look. I will say this in the past. Hey. Quiet, quiet. Quiet, Athena. I will say this in the past, right? I would compare myself to low tier God. Because my passion can scare people away. And my takes can scare... My takes and opinions can scare people away because people don't want to actually sit there and hear me out. But once you start to hear me out and understand what I'm saying, you'll fuck with me because you know I don't lie. You can ask all the other subscribers and everybody in the Discord. I might say some off-the-wall shit and you're like, nigga, what the fuck are you saying? You sound crazy as hell right now. But when you actually he listen to me and hear what I'm saying, you're like, bro, this nigga's real as fuck. <laughs> like, and, and, that, and that's the truth, bro. <laughs> you know, maybe I'd have more viewers if I wasn't, if I dumbed myself down. If, you know, I didn't have weird takes. I kept my fucking interesting takes to myself but i feel like these interesting takes have make fun moments fun moments like this where we can have good conversation when we all about to say the same shit bro um one piece world building yo nigga what oh we're all on the same page what are we talking about like that's why i like soul eater's ending so much that's why i love soul eater Everybody makes a different tune. Everybody's soul is different. But when they all connect, it makes something new and interesting. Con conversations like this can have a lasting impact on your life. You know, maybe you talk to a weirdo like me that, that's a loud mouth, you know, that fucking crashes out, that's passionate, that, you know, grown ass man talk crazy, right? You give a nigga like me a chance or something, that's an effect, that's a lasting effect on your life because guess what? You'll be more open-minded to listen to other people and their opinions and other things of that nature. 
I get what you're saying, bro. World building definitely ain't the best thing about uh, One Piece for me, but let's say to say it's ass is kind of disingenuous. Well, okay, not ass. I was just like, okay, I think the world building's good. I'm just saying that's definitely not the selling point. There's already some YouTube, okay, saying Kagurabachi, Athena trying to assess, assess, assess the Conqueror Hockey on Dash. Like I said, the world building basically complements the character's moments in arc. Where's the JJK rant video? What do you mean? It should be on the channel. I'm about to give Athena to uh, Rashad. Like, let me give y'all a little idea on how I was. This was my high school. No, this was me in middle school. This is me in middle school. Everybody would sit there and dick suck Call of Fucking Duty. And you know, I like Call of Duty. It's a fun game. But I would be trying to show these niggas, like, bro, there are better first-person shooters out there. Play Killzone. Play Half-Life. Play this. Play that. I'm like, dude, just give it a chance. I, I you know, like, be open-minded to try new things. And you'll see what happens. You know, Battlefield is literally just Call of Duty with better graphics. You can drive vehicles. It's fucking, like, a hundred fucking players fighting each other. Like, nigga, like... Why would you not play that? You're a contrarian, but the good kind. Yeah. I'm not a toxic contrarian. See, people, they just th they just see the contrarian part, and they, they don't vibe with it. But it's like... I, I'm not like a fucking... Ill, like... I, I, maybe I do give off an elitist vibe. Even though I try not to. I don't know. I, I, I like, people just get scared of disagreement. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with disagreement or anything like that. What is this? Slowing enemies down. We went from kill zone to Concord to industry is cooked. It is. Black Ops 6 is so bad, it's literally over. I wish we could have talked about I peaked in high school academia due to kaisen black clover and chainsaw man it was nothing but madden and 2k and that's what i'm saying and you know what you know what happened in high school i was doing youtube and we're putting this back we're definitely putting that wait what is this damage i think my child is crying i might have to get her out of the room yeah i'm gonna someone who is a contrarian just for the sake of it is an elitist and yeah like nah and see i could and see, I can see why people would see me that way, but no, like, I'm not a contrarian for the sake of contrarian. I'm a contrarian because, like, I, I'm trying to, like, be real, you know? Okay, I need to make a bowl of cereal because I'm fucking starving. He said, I've always been open to everyone's opinions. I would not agree Naruto not agree Naruto takes it more and there's more make interesting controversy open my mind to other point of view. I feel that bro. Try to talk to motherfuckers about like CSGO, Lee, COD, FIFA motherfuckers gonna look at you funny. Yeah. Chat what game is he playing? Dead Cells. He said, It it will, it's hard to actually convo about stuff like this when people don't wanna listen. Yeah. And it's like you just gotta give shit a chance. You know, give me a chance and you could have like a fucking, a friend for life. You could get like, you know, you could learn shit from me. I could learn shit from you. Have a connection that changes like the world, you know, all it takes is just some conversation, listening, sitting and talking and maybe you'll like what you see. It's the same with manga, it's the same with women, like getting girls and shit, you know, if this bitch would just give a nigga a chance and talk to him, she might find her husband. All it took was to sit there and listen and give somebody a chance. That's all it is. And it's just like with manga, you know, one piece could change my, change your life. Just got to give it a chance. Like imagine if I just was like. Eh, I don't really fuck with all the... I, I only really fuck with Naruto and Dragon Ball. I'm not going to look at any of these other mangas. The person that I am right now would not fucking exist. Like, all my passion for anime and manga, it wouldn't have gotten so deep if I didn't go out there and keep pursuing and reading more. Getting more entertainment under my belt. My passion for games would have never been to where it would have been at 
if I would have just stuck to fucking Call of Duty or stuck to fucking like Ratchet and Clank or something. It's like with music. My same thing with my music. Like, you know, I like rap. I like fucking rock. I like fucking metal. I like goddamn like, I like anime music, Japanese fucking music. Like, I like everything because I don't put myself in a box. Don't ever put yourself in a box. Life is about taking chances. You know, like, if you're thinking about One Piece and whether or not you want to try it, man, just fuck, like, fuck it. You ain't got nothing to lose. Like, I mean, it's more, it's more good than bad. And, and now's the best time to start because if you don't, you'll get that shit ruined for you. I gotta make a bowl of cereal. I'm fucking dying.